Hey guys, this is about the ineffectiveness of social media and how some people just refuse to evolve. Just got back from the nightclub and bar convention in Las Vegas where I spoke. Uh, I saw some other speakers there and I saw some other topics and most of them, almost all of them that had to do with marketing, a bar or a restaurant was about social media. The whole hour was about social media. A lot of people were mentioning the importance of hashtags and the importance of all this bullshit that does not work. And these are experts. These are people that do this for a living. They're talking to a room full of 200 people about hashtags and the importance of using it, which is insane to me. I've never seen a single hashtag bring a single person to a single restaurant in my life. So this is an analogy I use and, and, and Pay attention to this one because this, this is pretty big. What if I told you there is a social media platform out there to where you could get hundreds of thousands of impressions a month. Nobody has to like you or follow you to be seen on this social media platform. You can post to it if you want to, but you don't have to. All the consumers that are on that platform are there to make a buying decision right then. They're not annoyed by your crap on social media when they're trying to just look at puppies and kittens. They're there to make a buying decision. They're looking for your business, for your service right then. The best part is, we not only can we measure impressions of how many people saw your brand, which is great, but we can measure the amount of people that walked in your door and spent money. Now, Facebook and Instagram, you can't do that. You're guessing. Usually people's Facebook and Instagram budget is thousands of dollars a month. They either have somebody they're paying a salary to or they're paying some sort of agency thousands of dollars to get results that are diminishing worse and worse by the month and by the year. Right now, you're basically getting about 1% of your total following in the door, single digits. So on this social media platform I'm talking about, I can prove that I'm getting two, three, 400 additional people in the door based on doing this. So what have I just described? This is Google. Google is where everybody is looking for your services. As a consumer, you use Google, yet nobody thinks to put any sort of budget toward the tool that they use as a consumer. That's what's crazy to me. So that's part of the talk I gave and the, 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 the cost to optimize your Google presence and to show up ahead of everybody else is a tenth of what most people pay to have somebody work their social media for them. I charge 249 bucks a month and I can prove through Google Analytics, not my numbers, Google's own numbers that hundreds of more people per month hit that get directions button in Google, walked in the door and spent money. So think about that next time you, you allocate money toward a marketing budget. Think about what you can prove and think about what makes common sense. So stop throwing money away on social media. Use your common sense. Use what you use as a consumer.